hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to integrate google fonts with react native app so i'm going to show you how you can integrate google fonts with both the platform on android and ios also so let's get started so first of all i'm going to create a react native app okay so first let me go to my path then i'm going to type react native in it and the project name will be google font so hit enter now our package is going to install so i'm fast forwarding this okay so react native got installed on our machine so now let's just open it on visual studio our project is opened on visual studio code so right now this is the interface and this is my terminal from this terminal i'm going to run the comments and all okay so i'm going to close this out and let me open the android emulator first here, so here is our android emulator okay so now i'm going to compile my project so react native run android So build successful so now let's check it out so on emulator the app is running perfectly so now let's check on iOS so react native run iOS so it will also take few moments so I will skip this out So finally our app is also running on iOS. So let me move this to next desktop. So here our app is running on both of our platform Android and iOS. Okay. And for the font purpose, here is the fonts.google.com where you can find the fonts. Right. So here is a font okay i have selected this font family and now i can download it from here okay so i have already downloaded few fonts so here are few fonts noto serif and dancing script okay so i'm going to get few fonts from this font library okay so first i'm going to create a folder called assets on my root directory on my root directory of my project okay so within that asset folder i'm going to create a folder called fault so within the fonts directory i'm going to i'm going to grab my fonts so this is the font i will choose so noto serif bold over here and from dancing script i'm going to take the dancing script bold also okay so these are the two fonts which i'm going to use on my project now going to package.json over here we need to type rnpm then assets and here we need to tell the path of the asset of our project so the root directory assets folder and then fonts okay so save it and then run a command which is react native link okay 
now it's going to okay there is a mistake i need to put a comma over there now save this file and run the command react native link this is going to link our asset to android and ios project okay so assets have been successfully linked to your project so to check this i can go to android app src main asset and over here i can see the fonts which we previously grabbed over here on root directory right so now i am going to implement it on our project so on this welcome so on this welcome text i am going to show one kind of font style and for this instructions i am going to show another kind of font style okay so on welcome here is font family and over here we need to mention our font family name okay so our font family name is this so i'm going to copy the name and paste it over here without the extension okay and for instructions font family over here i'm going to grab another font name the noto serif bold okay so i saved it and now let's just check it on our emulator so first on android i reload the app see there is no change right so what we need to do we need to first close this metro bundler process okay and then again recompile our project on both the platform so first i'm going to build this project again for android platform first okay so react native run android So here is build successful. Now let's go and check it out on our platform. So our app is loading. So right now over here we can see some changes. So let me do one thing. Let me increase the font size. I make this font size to 30. And for instructions I make font size to 20 okay so save this and check it on android first so now it's clear so here we can see our custom fonts right okay there are some update i will update it later okay so now let's build on ios also so react native run ios so in ios also we can see that our font is our custom font is working properly and it's looking quite nice right so this is it this is the tutorial so we need to recompile and build the project again after adding the assets to our library right so hope you learned something new from this tutorial if you learned something new then please like the video hit the subscribe button and comment down below if you face any kind of issue or any kind of interaction you want to have with me then see you on next tutorial have a good day thank you